Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Naruto Chapter 668. Now, in this chapter, I know what most people are thinking. You know, oh man, Kishi did another flashback, alright? And a lot of times he does put in pointless flashbacks that are just boring and you kind of just want to skip them, alright? But in this chapter, the flashback is actually good. It actually has multiple purposes, multiple meanings that it multiple things that it accomplishes, all right? I mean, the obvious one is that it's just trying to get you to feel more for a guy when he eventually dies, um, but that's just the obvious one. There are also multiple uh, multiple other things that it accomplishes, and it's not like I think the flashback was perfect. I think it could have been a tad bit shorter, um, but overall, I did enjoy it because of all the things that it did. Um, it kind of It kind of links guys past back uh it kind of links guys past to the current situation you see how a uh, guy's father die that's an ironic name <laughs> his father his father die um i can't get over that his father guy's father all right keeps talking to him about how you know since guy can't use ninjutsu or genjutsu likely does I'm like just likely he can't he has a lot of weaknesses and he tells Guy that, you know, you can turn those weaknesses into strength, okay? And he talks about, like, he, you see people, different people talking to them behind their back or to their faces, talking about how useless they are, you know. Guy's father is the eternal Genin, you know. And he's pretty much saying, you know, yeah, th those people are going to keep trying to put you down because of your weaknesses, but you can turn those weaknesses into strength. All right. No matter what situation, no matter how bad the situation you think you're in, you can always overcome that situation. And you might think that right now you're this weak ninja who will never be anything. You'll never amount to anything. But that's not true because one day you can become an elite ninja. Okay. And it link in that whole past that guy has is linked back to the current situation. Or you have Madara acting as that person, talking down to them, pointing out their weaknesses, saying that they'll never be anything, they'll never beat him. And Guy trying to show, you know, our weaknesses can turn into strength. All right, I might not be able to do anything but Tai Jutsu, but right now that Tai Jutsu is the only thing that can do something to you. My weakness is going to become my strength, and I will help to defeat you, even if it costs me my life. We will overcome, even if it costs a lot of us our lives, we will overcome this and we will defeat you. Right, so it links Guy's past back to uh, the current situation, and it does it really, really well. Um, you know, it's just every part of the flashback had some type of purpose in in pointing out those facts. You know, like I already mentioned the talking that the people did behind their backs to their faces, those two ninja. Uh, the whole t the time when Guy was in the hospital because he got beaten up by those two guys. They were pretty much telling it. It was pretty much to show that everybody has something that they want to protect. And in that moment where you f feel as though you need to protect them, that is when you'll be at your best, when your weaknesses will turn into strength, when you will, that's the time when you will most likely be able to overcome that situation. When you have that strong desire to protect something that means a lot to you. Um, it. I mean, the entire flashback, it's just... It perfectly links the two, the past and the present together. And it doesn't just do that. It also lays the foundation. It also gives hope for all the other people. Because Amadra used this one metaphor about how the red steam's like leaves rotting or something like that. And and Guy said that, you know, it's, it's, it's not that the leaves are rotting. These leaves that you say are rotting, those leaves are going to become the nourishment for the new fresh leaves to grow. All right, so he's saying, you know, I'm going to help defeat you, but even after I die, my sacrifice is just going to allow everyone else to to get better and better and bring them up so that they can defeat you too. All right, my death isn't going to be pointless. It's going to do, it's going to be the the impetus for your defeat. Okay, and that that was good. Also, at least the foundation for for Rock Lee to actually get a bigger role because uh, well, and and guy well. Lee has pretty much the same past as Guy, you know, he's the he's the kid who couldn't use ninjutsu or genjutsu, everyone looked down on him, um, no one thought he would amount to anything, but now Guy is showing him that, you know, 
that's that's not true. I mean, it, it's been shown throughout the series, but now more than ever, because Madara is an enemy, enemy, it seems that they just can't defeat. Even the normal ninja, even the skilled ninja can't beat, beat him. So what so what is a guy like Lee supposed to do when he can't even use ninjutsu or genjutsu? All right, but this is laying the foundation. Guy's sacrifice, his courage, is is laying the foundation for Lee to rise up as well. And I guess you could say receive the will of fire from him, I guess. And Guy, um, Guy even, that's, that's essentially what Guy meant when he talked about that whole nourishment for new fresh leaves. Um, so this chapter, this, that flashback actually accomplishes a lot. And the way the chapter ends after the flashback ends is that um, Guy ends up opening the eighth gate and he goes to where Mater is and uses the night elephant technique. So we've got morning peacock, afternoon tiger, and now night elephant. So, yeah, and that's essentially all there is for this chapter. Um, the stuff with Guy at the end where, like, I could be at the eighth gate, that was really epic. Um, night elephant, that'll be pretty epic, too. So that stuff was good. But the flashback as well was good. I mean, I've, I've kind of reiterated the same stuff over and over again, so it should the point should be clear by now, but it, it, it wasn't just another useless Kishi flashback. It actually had a purpose. It, it, it essentially shows how, how the ninja are going to rise up against Madara. Right? One guy. All right. Guy. guy yeah. <laughs> one guy. Mike guy. All right. His one sacrifice is going to be what gives everyone else the will to live, the courage to fight back, the will of fire, essentially. All right, and they're going to realize that their weakness can become their strength. They're going to realize that they can, as long as they have something they want to protect, they will be able to rise up against Madara. And Lee might be the one who who starts this. Uh, he can be the the first, the second domino, I guess, because Guy is the first domino. He might he can be the second domino that starts the, this comeback that. Allows everyone to defeat Madara. Plus, Naruto is, and Sasuke are being saved now. So once they get back up, and then they might see all these people fighting back, then they'll be able to lead that charge, and then they'll be able to defeat Madara. Maybe uh, get those ninja tools in there at some point. And yeah, so I thought the flashback was actually good. If you didn't like the flashback, then you're probably just um, trying to force yourself to not realize what the flashback means. That way, like. The way Naruto the series works is that you there are a lot of things you can't take at face value, and a lot of people take things in Naruto at face value, which is why there's so many misunderstandings and misconceptions about the series, which is weird because out of the big three, Naruto is the one that has the most things you can't take at face value. Uh, so that's weird, but if you're taking this flashback at face value or you just skipped it, then you're not going to think this chapter is very good. But if you pay attention and you listen and, <laughs> and you, you, well, not listen, oh yeah, listen, and you read and you realize what exactly the flashback is trying to say. It's actually a very good flashback and it accomplishes a few different things. So I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10 overall. I thought it was pretty good. And that's that. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.